if you hit that subscribe button, that notification bell, you're going to be missing out on videos and free prizes and raffles we have coming up. What is this? Uh, I'll show you when I'm done. I'll clip it into the video. But it's a tie down mount to hold the front tires. It'll actually do three dirt bikes and a bike. It actually comes with an adapter that backs it up and, and whatnot. Anyway, it's way cool. And then it puts the tie down mounts up really high. I had this in my last truck, pulled it out. And the bitch of the whole thing is getting the fasteners on from the back side of the bed. There's just no room, number one. And number two, uh, I don't want to wait for a buddy to get here. So it's just playing a pain in the butt, okay? So I wanted to show you a cool little trick of how you can do this all by yourself. So first off, you're gonna go figure out whatever size uh, sockets and stuff you want. And then you can see here, I have a ratchet. And what I was able to do is there's a lot more clearance right here. There's like a wide gap and then it tightens up. And what I've done is taken putting the nut and the washer on the, on the ratchet back there and then just aimed it till I'm right lined up. So I got a little tweaking to do. there okay and then I could do this one-handed and get done by myself but how I keep the washer in place is really really super old-fashioned trick at grease I'm just gonna show you up close here what I was doing out there that wind was terrible but uh, you could take and if you're really worried about the nut falling out on you doesn't matter if it's lock nut or regular nut or whatnot but you pack that in there that really allows you to work but you can take it a step further and get this face really good and greased up and then put your washer on there. Now here I'm gonna to try to center that a little more, but you could see here, I could shake that quite a bit. Moved on me slightly. Okay, maybe I wanna pack a, a little more around, basically create that. Cause once that bolt pops through there, you know, once you pop that through, you're gonna be able to get those couple threads and then you have it to where it can't fall out or it can't fall down below wherever you're, uh, wherever you're working. Look at that. Cool old timers trick, ain't it? Let's see if I can't set the camera up in the corner and see if this actually works. Let's see. That, my friends, is how you do it one-handed. All right, to feel good about this, when I was done, let me show you, let me show you what it is. Still got two more holes to drill, but they're easy. There's some more room on the outside. It's just easier to get to. But for a little more clearance, I'll show you what I did. Just took a wood block and wedged it in there. So it hurt the paint or anything. And then that really allowed me to get full confirmation. Uh, I was getting a little concerned that I was gonna slip on the nut. And what actually happened was the 3H drive uh, socket didn't have as large a bore as my quarter inch. So the bolt, uh, excuse me, the, yeah, the bolt was actually hitting the socket, not letting go on any further. So I needed to switch to this little guy. Then I, on full torque, I needed to, uh, to spread that open so I could get my hand down in there. And those are my couple of tips for how to do this, you know, quote unquote, one-handed and alone. But I'll uh, drop a photo in the end of this. The bike's all tied down. This little accessory's pretty cool. Might wanna check it out. Uh, I'll see if they're still available on Amazon. I'll put a link below. All right, my friends, if you haven't done so yet, please like, share, subscribe, join the channel's way to support us. Make it a great day, and as always, keep wrenching.